Welcome, in front of me is a Redmi A5 and today I will show you how you can go through the setup process of this phone. Now, when you put it up for the very first time, you'll be presented with the same screen that you can see on my end, where you get to select your desired language and also have some accessibility settings. Next, we're gonna just select start after choosing our language and you can choose your region. For me, it's selected a correct one, but you can choose whichever one you want. And as far as I can tell, it doesn't really have much of an impact on the device or anything. So moving on to the next page, we have uh, terms and conditions. So user agreement and privacy policy. So we're just going to select that we've read and agreed to them. You can tap on each one of them uh, and read exactly what you're agreeing to. And then moving on to the next page, we have connect to mobile network. This is completely optional. You can do so by inserting a SIM card or you can just skip this if you don't want to do it right now. Next, we have set up using another device. Again, optional step. Uh, this would basically allow you to, using Google account, move over the data to this one, though, because it's using Google account for that. It basically re-downloads all the applications and syncs up all the contacts that uh, that are stored on the cloud and all the information that Google keeps on you, basically. Uh, you can also just select skip and set up the device as a new one. And then this presents us with the option to connect to Wi-Fi network. Again, this is completely optional. You can set it up offline, uh, but by doing so, uh, because I haven't inserted a SIM card either. I don't have any network connection, therefore it gives me this pop-up. Uh, so I won't be able to log into a Google account, restore apps and data, get software updates, and have my date and time be set automatically, which I'm completely fine. I'm gonna select continue. And because I have no network, this is the page for date and time. So you can now change it if it's incorrect. Um, I'm gonna select next. Next, we have Google services like location, scanning, and sending user and diagnostic data. You can turn all of those off, but let's be honest, it's Google, so it's not like these options actually do anything. Uh, otherwise, uh, corporations wouldn't be in class action lawsuits left and right. So I highly doubt this does absolutely anything. It just makes you think Google isn't gathering data. But the system is closed, so it's not that we can check. Next, we have uh, option to select a screen lock. So here you can choose whatever pin, pattern, password you want to set up, set up for your device. So there we go. Or you can just select skip if you don't want to protect your device at all. Actually, you know what? I do want to protect my device. And then select a pattern. If I can actually. There we go. Uh, now, if you select any kind of screen lock, you get the option to also enroll a fingerprint. Um, I'm gonna select not now, I don't want to do that. Unlock with face, uh, again, I'm not gonna set this up as well. You can if you want to. Basic settings, so we have uh, send uh, user and diagnostic data. Again, this is uh, now from Xiaomi, not Google, so we can turn those off, but again, uh, it's probably not like this does much. We have personalized ads, again, uh, just general spyware. And uh, also Xiaomi, please stop doing this. This is absolutely a thing annoying. Uh, so any other option that you want to turn off, you can go right ahead and turn those off, right? Uh, but God forbid you actually try to turn off uh, personalized ads. Like it's a, uh, they're making it look like it's a God sent uh, gift to you uh, where the device spies on what you talk about and search for just so then it can give you more relevant ads. Are you kidding me? Why would I ever want that? And then they do their reverse psychology uh, just because, you know, if you manage to maybe by mistake click on this, you know, so yeah. Um, anyway, uh, we're going to go to the next page now. And this is uh, going to be an option for lock screen carousel. So what it is, is just basically random wallpapers uh, picked by Xiaomi that will be cycling through on your lock screen every time you press the power button to basically wake up the screen. I don't like this, the randomness and the wallpapers that they sometimes have is just super like random. You might have options like here, which don't look that bad, or you might have something like a brick wall or a maid cleaning. And at that point, why would I ever want to see a wallpaper like that? So anyway, I'm gonna just skip this, as I don't like this myself. And there we go. You can see that this setup is now finished, and that's about it. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.